The Boise Fire Department is mourning the loss of one of their own. Retired firefighter Kent Gilbertson recently passed away from colon cancer. It's a cancer that's considered presumptive, which means it's presumed your illness came from a work environment, such as working within the fire department. And it's an added risk to a profession that's already full of risks. Every day, firefighters put their lives at risk. The risk of running into a burning building, the risk of not knowing what lies ahead, and the risk of getting diagnosed with a presumptive illness. A presumptive illness is, just as it states, it's presumed that it is an illness that occurred from uh, working in the fire department. Brad Bolin is the assistant fire chief for the Boise Fire Department. He's witnessed some of his fellow brothers and sisters experience just that. Kent Gilbertson was a firefighter for Boise Fire Department for 16 years. Uh, most recently, he has passed away from colon cancer. He retired from us in 2018. And Kent isn't the only one. Bolin says there have been others. Within the last six months in our fire department, we've had two retirees who have passed away from cancer and one most recently diagnosed with cancer. We feel for the family, but we also mourn and grieve as a family. And too often people are retiring and they're not enjoying retirement because they'll have an illness occur or there'll be something that was work related. So what's being done to help prevent this? Boland says every time a firefighter may be exposed to toxins, they track that. So if that firefighter does get diagnosed with an illness, they can tie it back to the work environment or their history of work in the fire service. With the work environment, it's presumed that you are going to be exposed to hazardous materials. We have a robust decontamination process we also have uh, annual physicals where we pre-screen for cancer. In 2016, Battalion Chief with the Eagle Fire Department and President of the Professional Firefighters of Idaho, Rob Shoplock, says legislation passed with this very issue in mind. We've really expanded um, the pre-employment screenings, the annual physicals, making sure that we have a second set of turnouts. So once we return from a call, we're not putting the same gear on that's contaminated because so much of the toxins are absorbed through the skin. He adds that legislation took more than a decade to pass. And we're never going to eliminate cancer from the fire department, but what we can do is take steps to make sure that our employees are healthy and they stay healthy through that career so they get a chance to serve their public for that 20, 25, 30 year career. And there is a GoFundMe for Kent's family and funeral expenses, and we'll have a link to that in this story at KTVB.com. We'll be right back.